Hi there! Welcome back to Goni's channel. Ten years is not a long period of time, but it's long enough to change the fate of a person. That's the story of Sadio Mane, who couldn't afford a pair of shoes after fleeing his home ten years ago. Now he's rich enough to buy shoes for over 50 million countrymen in Senegal. A poor past is a driving force for Sadio Mane to rise up in football industry and to return to his native land with a heart of philanthropy. In today's video, let's stay with us to hear a beautiful story about this swinger. A Miserable Childhood It's a long way for a kid who gets a bitter grapefruit to one of the best winged strikers on the planet. Manny's first shock came when his father died of illness when he was 7 years old. The 1992-year-born player once told, I was 7 years old, I was playing football in my village grounds, my brother came over and said, our father is dead. I didn't believe it. He had a stomachache, and since there was no hospital, he was taken to the healer in another village. Things got complicated, and he died there. He once promised himself that he had to do whatever he could to assist his mother. It's not an easy task to take on when he's so young. In Bambali, the Mani family is devout Christians who want their son to become a teacher rather than a football career. Meanwhile, Mani's ambition is to transform his life through football. But it was not an easy decision, especially because he had no one to back him up. Mani once believed he was wasting his time since his football success was all in his head. Leaving home to pursue his passion at the time, the only place where he could become a professional footballer was not the isolated Bambali, but Dakar capital. Therefore, he decided to flee his home at the age of 15. From the night before, he did his stuff in the bush and from his house. Then he got up early so that nobody could catch him leaving, and the only person knowing his plan was his best friend. He had to walk for a long way, borrow money from his friends to buy a ticket to Dakar. At home, after querying for information from his best friend, his parents called to take Manny home, but he was still determined and was finally allowed to try football at the end of the school year. The Breakthrough When the time came, Manny was one of the most out of 300 young players who tried their luck. He was dressed in a pair of ripped sneakers and a pair of pants that did not appear to be football pants. Manny, on the other hand, Sparkled during a simulation match at Dakar's Generation Foot Academy, scoring four goals. Many has progressed thanks to the guidance of Matty Touré, the academy founder, who was signed by the French Mets Club in 2011 and began his European experience. After a successful summer at Olympic 2012 and helping recruit Senegal's children to quarterfinals, Manny moved to Austria to play for Red Bull Salzburg. His achievements were gradually solid when he joined in Southampton and Liverpool in 2014 and 2016 respectively. At present, it's safe to say that Manny is one of the best players in the Premier League, in particular in the world in general. His Achievements in Liverpool In Liverpool, he's reached a new level of his career. In attack, he formed a dangerous trident with Mohamed Salah and Roberto Firmino, assisting the team in the Champions League final two years in a row and once a champion. Mane was the highest scorer in English Premier League in the 2018-2019 season with 22 goals, followed by Aubameyang and Salah. On 1st of June, Mane helped win an early penalty for Liverpool in the 2019 EUFA Champions League final against Tottenham. Mane finished 4th in the European Golden Ball Poe and 5th on FIFA's The Best 2019 list as a result of his outstanding performance. By early 2020, Mane was named the CAF African Footballer of the Year. During the intensive COVID-19 pandemic, most of big football matches were cancelled. Mane and his teammates were still on the way concurring the first championship in the Premier League. In 2020, Manning was cited as one of the top 100 most influential Africans by New African Magazine. In the 2021 final, Manning scored the winning kick in the penalty shootout to give Senegal their first Africa Cup of Nations title and he was also named the player of the tournament. A player with a golden heart Mane is not a millionaire footballer in the actual world. Despite his rapper-like appearance, as Klopp described, he went to the mosque in Liverpool to help clean the toilets a few hours after the victory over Leicester in 2018. Sadio took the initiative to ask the cathedral personnel not to send out footage of him because he didn't want to be photographed 
it wasn't looking to satisfy the people. Sadia owns a Bentley, yet it typically travels in a regular automobile. The World Bank estimates that up to 70% of households in Mani's community live in poverty. Because there was no hospital to heal him, his father died, and his younger sister had to be born at home. That is why Manny recently completed the construction of a hospital in his hometown. When COVID-19 spread over the world, Manny promptly won £40,000 to the Senegalese government to aid in the fight against the disease. Last year, the 29-year-old donated £200,000 to fund the building of a secondary school in his home village, Bambali, Senegal. He supposed that education was the key. Children had to be good physical condition before going to work. Manny is clearly a very talented footballer, but he's probably even better at making people happy. He may not have won a Ballon d'Or yet, but in the eyes of Senegalese people, he has a heart of gold. And that's all for our video today. I hope you find this interesting. If you have any questions or recommendations, leave a comment in the section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.